Our coverage of CES 2019 is brought to you by the Dbrand Grip and Dbrand Prism Screen Protector. You can check them both out at the link in the video description. We are here in Gigabyte's booth where they are showing off the latest iteration of their Aero 15 gaming laptop. And this is actually an interesting one. So it can be equipped with up to an RTX 2080 Max-Q graphics card and up to a Core i9-8950HK. So yes, my friends, that is the unlocked six-core hyper-threaded processor. And it's all in this tiny, slim form factor. How have they crammed this amount of hardware in here? Well, conveniently, the unit that I picked up actually had the bottom of it fall off while I was standing here getting ready to shoot. So you can go ahead and take a peek inside with me. See, look, it has no screws in it. Hold on, wait for it. Honestly, I, I did not, I did not remove those screws. The battery just started like, like popping out in my hand and I was like, what's going on here? So here's our GPU. Here's our CPU, here's the cooling for the VRM. We've got a dual fan design like we've seen in previous generation Aero 15s. Couple memory slots, we've got NVMe storage, just a single one of those. No two and a half inch storage, but that's okay. I wouldn't have expected it. There's only so much they can do for something like that. But if you really wanted to add more storage, look at that. You've got another easily accessible NVMe slot. But here's the thing. Gigabyte's main selling point for this is not actually just that they've taken a very impressive spec and put it in a compact laptop. As you guys might have seen if you were paying really close attention there, this is the world's first AI laptop. So what exactly does AI laptop mean? Well, they partnered with Microsoft Azure, and so they're kind of working together to share the costs of development here. But the idea is that they've got this demo here with, uh, this appears to be PUBG, running 50, 45, 50-ish 50 FPS without AI, and high 50s, low 60s with AI. Now, I had some uh, questions about how exactly it would be that AI would make a game run at a higher FPS, and I'm gonna have to consult my notes here for a second. So I asked, what exactly does AI do in a laptop, and they said, <clears throat> it allocates CPU and GPU power according to the workload. Then I pointed out that normally while gaming, neither the CPU nor the GPU is power constrained and asked uh, what benefit there would be then. The answer was, well, you don't have to turn it on if you don't want to, but it's designed to make life a little bit easier for the average end user. My next question, why exactly are you running these as pre-recorded videos rather than having the actual games running to show the FPS difference. Okay, they had a pretty good answer for that. These are RTX graphics cards and NVIDIA's not letting anyone run actual games on them. Fair enough. And then I asked, okay, what about other stuff? And they were like, okay, well, here's the thing. It's designed to be able to predict what a particular application needs based on a machine learning data set. And I went, okay, cool. So what other demos do you have? Allow me. So here we have an AI laptop versus a non-AI laptop, and they actually got rid of their, their pre-recorded videos and fired up Adobe Premiere for me so that I could do a side-by-side -side test. Now it's Adobe Premiere CS5, and I asked why it was CS5, which is about 10-year-old software at this point, and they said, well, that was what we had time for, and I kind of went, uh, okay. And we went ahead and ran our demo. Um, as I expected, I'm not sure if I was the only one here, but as I expected, the AI and non-AI ones um, finished the encode at exactly the same time. Um, so really, this whole experience has raised more questions than answers. I asked um, why they finished at the same time, and they said, well, it's pre-production, and um, I guess we're gonna have to follow up and take a closer look at the AI laptop in the future, uh, once it's had a little bit more time to train its AI to do something. Speaking of doing something, I'm gonna show you my phone with a Dbrand grip on it. Dbrand sponsored our content here at CES 2019. Their grip case is super grippy. It's got clicky buttons. Thank you, Colton. I felt smarter while I was wearing those. Hey, hey, there we go. Uh, we go. Yeah, uh, super clicky buttons. Uh, it's, drop, it's drop resistant, like basically Linus proof. What else is there to say about it? Oh right, you can customize it with a D-Brand skin, of course. Also, 
They're showing off their new prism screen protectors. They've got this great applicator that makes it easy to put on. It feels nice and glassy from the front, but the impact protection, that is where the prism really shines. So you could literally take your phone, hammer a nail into a piece of wood, not that I'm recommending it, and peel off your screen protector, which is of course dented to hell, but your screen, huh, the screen still looks good. Really nice. Check them both out at the link in the video description. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, if you disliked this video you can go ahead and do that, but if you uh, liked it and you love AI, click like, get subscribed, don't miss any of our CES 2019 content.